Remember back in the day when they'd say all you have to do is a thousand crunches or so to get results, get your tummy all ripped, so you'd reef, yank on your neck for a while and then maybe you'd see results, but your neck would hurt. Okay, so maybe that's the 80s version, but still, when you do the modern version, for me, it still hurts my neck. So, how happy was I to hear that now you can get great results when you stand for ab exercises. Oh, and look who we find, Miss Jerry Love, <laughs> the creator of the RIP series, along with Allison and Linda. They're doing abs. You guys are doing abs right now? We sure are. We sure are. And you're just, this is for what, like juice break? Well, yeah, afterwards. <laughs> yeah. The key thing is, is that, you know, a lot of people think that doing ab exercise at home, that you need a lot of this fancy equipment, and expensive, but you know, you can just grab some soup cans or, you know, some juice and do juice. it. Anything that's a little bit Anything. of weight, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so explain this to me, because we were talking about, we're used to having to do the crunches, right? It's always, always has hurt my neck. Yes. Did you hear lots of complaints about that as a trainer? Absolutely. And one of the things we would tell people to do is rest your, your neck in a towel, but a lot of people didn't bring towels. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it does cause a lot of strain on the neck, for sure. Okay, so then how did this all come about where you thought, well, you can work your abs standing up? Well, it actually started because it was probably the number one question I had. How can I get ripped abs? You know, and, and a lot of times people are doing like two or three hundred sit-ups a day and they're still not seeing the results. So. Right. Okay. What we did is we uh, tested the exercises on a metabolic cart and we tested the, those basic crunches, the plank, just to see how many calories people were burning. It was very interesting. The key um, strength training exercise that not only burns the most calories, but that are effective when it comes to abs. Okay, so then we get great, better results than Absolutely. when you're doing the crunches lying down. Absolutely. Okay, so why is that? Are you targeting more when you're standing? or? Well, you're working multiple muscle groups. Okay. So you're working your transverse abdominis, which is the main focus of these exercises. Transverse abdominis, yeah, for those of us who don't have the degree, would be where? Yeah, right. They lie under the internal, external obliques along the side here, but right they're here? deep, deep, deep muscles. Muscles, okay. Right, yeah. but they work in an isometric position. So what I mean by they, they they stay still. When you're doing crunches, the muscle shortens and lengthens, but in transverse, it acts like a waist belt and holds everything in. Oh, so that's a very important one. Right. All right. So we've got different varying degrees of weights here. You're using your juice. I will use my juice. Something from home, and I'll do it without weight. Absolutely, because okay. it's great for beginners to start without the weights. Okay. So what are we doing here? Well, let's do the ab butt blaster. So you oh, want to take your weights in we front. We get both. Perfect. Yes. Abs now we're going to go down for two, and then come up slowly. Exhale out and inhale down. We'll do this for four. This works my abs. This works your abs. The key thing is to hold them in. If you didn't hold them in, your, your back would just give out. Okay. Now let's do another one. This okay. is called the balancing act. So you can either, as Alice is doing, holding the weights up, or keep your weights to the side or hands on the hips. So we're going to lift up for three. One, two, three. Now hold your abs in, and then three, two, one. Come up, see? I need some, I need some work. <laughs> two, three and hold. See, this is really good for balance. Oh yeah, okay. And that works your core. That works your core. Okay. Let's Plus try one more. Legs. You're getting your legs. Okay. Um, now try kicking out because then you can add in your legs. The key thing when you're working these exercises, Tara, is you're working multiple muscle groups simultaneously so that you're also working the core. And when we talk about core, we're talking about your abs and your low back. When you incorporate the legs into the exercises, we were burning on average 12 to 14 calories per minute with these exercises versus just doing two or three on the floor. Okay, okay. And then of course, I mean, you're doing your exercises, but how important is what you're putting in your body, food, yeah. for abs? Because we all want some, you know, some kind of definition. You may not want the six pack, but... Right, you're right. Yeah. 80% of it is going to be what you are eating. Ugh. You cannot, oh, no. I know, and, and, and people think that you can spot reduce, yeah. but 80% of it is going to be what you're eating for sure. So 
no more candy, no more white bread. A moment on the lips forever on your hips, right? Oh, oh, yeah, <laughs> that's right, or a moment right here. But really to get the aesthetic look, women need to be below 16% and men certainly below, you know, 8 or 9%. Okay. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to get to it with my standing abs. Do you want to go, go back down for two? Okay, I'll so get my butt One, two. two. Exactly. Keep your weight back. One, two, up, two.